like to go over here. I, I, I just want to see if um, mm, Kamiyama's actually selling the required material. Huh? Is it your first time here? Sorry, but I don't do business with strangers. Mm -hmm. I think I met someone who looks like you. What? W where? Okinawa. Oh, wait a minute. Are you Taiga Sajima? I've heard about you from my older brother. He said you were able to escape. He said he was able to escape because of you. He actually got out. Cool. That changes things. You are welcome to do business with me. Here are some new designs. We got the Nationwide Dumpling Making Exposé 2010. How can I help you today? I mainly handle weapon modifications. Let's see what you got. Nah, he doesn't actually have anything. Um, check our design. Ledge hammer, block of brass and dropper, toy hammer, angry dragon hammer, bloody cloth and seal the dragon. Okay, cool. Sledge hammers, that'd be neat. get back down into the uh, underground though. Where was there another manhole? Wasn't there a manhole in Theater Square? Or... I'm trying to think. Yeah, no, we, we, we got to the guy by going to the manhole in... Uh, by the Millennium Tower. Some more garbage. Come on. That. Who's talking about the hills? Okay. Nope. That's not gonna help us at all. Huge crowd. God damn it. Alright, Punk, let's go. Ooh. It's got a knife. Big one, too. Get you. Bell ringing, bitch. That's good shit. Yeah, I'd be scared too if I were you. Come on. Come on, bitch. Bitch. God damn. There we go. I mean, don't pick a fight if you're not one to actually throw, you know? It's as simple as that. Especially if you're trying to pull yourself up with, oh, I've got a knife here, so surely that'll help. What the hell? I just saw the. I say, I just saw the garbage. Um, where the hell are the homeless dudes at? The whole garbage is pretty good. Huh. I mean, and there were... I saw a couple... Of Things that people talking about Kimurocha Hills, but I don't know. Maybe, 
Maybe now I can actually go back down. Hopefully. Let us find out, shall we? about that lady real quick. Let's see. Running woman? No, oh, no. Info about her. Oh well. Alright. Come on, let me go down to my dank sewers. I want to be a ninja turtle. Could probably open it. Oh, come on. Ninja Turtle! Hmm. Homeless people, but... Alright, just go away. Hi! Kid, come on. Thank you. Everyone's got a fucking knife now. What is going on? Jeez. Silver plate. Okay. Let's see, Bird Square One. Yeah, well. Do I have any good info to go off of ourselves here? You know what? Yeah, let's let's just head back into the underground. Let's see if I can't find something there. It's about the only thing I can think of. That or I need to hang close by uh, Kimarcho Hills development. Sure, otherwise. Huh. Uh, homeless dudes here. Shit. Cats aren't here either. Shit. Well, damn. Any homeless dudes under here? Fuck. Alright, well maybe we just gotta go back to, uh... No, not that way. Bass... Ugh, bleh. I can't talk at all today. Back? But... I think that was a glowy. Hold on. Yeah, it's depending on this load time. it now. Okay, let's come back find it later. It'll be there if it's actually a thing. Damn it, yeah, we'll just have to see if find more homeless dudes. How were the guys that were do you have something to say about this? No? Really? Weird. Now, where are the guys that were talking about Camarcha Hills? I saw that come up a couple times. No, I don't want to wait up. 
Though you're probably gonna. Yeah. Oh, didn't corner me in here. The fuck? Can I can I talk to you? No. <laughs> Ugh. I'm actually not sure where to check. Huh. I mean, I guess one of the only places we haven't checked out. Okay, what is this guy on about? It's just talking about Conroy, right? Nikiniku. Uh. Uh, wants to fight me. God damn it. Alright, let's go, you punk bitch. Maybe we can check by Theater Square? Bounce here. Bounce! Damn it, how do I... What the hell was that? Thank you. But the only other thing I could think of is the parks. Right? That's where homeless people also hang out in these games. Um, damn. Oh, wait. Real? Woo! That's Kajay the Florist. Hey, you. Did I just hear you say Kajay the Florist? Huh? Oh, no, I didn't say anything like that. Don't lie to me. I know what I heard. Please cut me some slack. Slip of the tongue could cost guy's life around here. Yeah? How you figure? Well, if I tell you something you promise not to tell anyone else? I promise. I promise. I won't say a word. Okay, I guess I'll trust you. Keeping it secret is killing me anyway. I'm on a city crew that was doing some work on the manhole over in the children's park. That's when I found it. Found what? An underground pleasure district. They only let in super rich people and even... And even them? Oh, okay, I get it. And even them, they scream. I've heard of it. But didn't think it was real. How'd you find it? Well, I was sneaking a nap down the manhole when I heard someone come in. Who? I bet it was the guy they call uh, Kaje the Florist. He's one of the people running the underground complex. He's he's his famous info dealer. He was wearing he was wearing some really different looking clothes, just like the time I saw him in that weekly magazine I read. And he kept on going down the tunnel till he disappeared. When I took a look later, I found a door at the end of the tunnel. Where's it go? Dunno. I didn't open it. Why not? It's a really heavy door, way too heavy for a guy like me. There's got to be some trick to opening it. I bet only the floors knows how. There's other crazy rumors about the floors, but I'd rather stay alive than start poking my nose where it doesn't belong. And then again, it's all hearsay and info from the tabloid, so who knows if it's true. Still, remember, you promised not to tell anyone who what I said. Don't worry. I won't talk. Guess I should go see... Uh, was through that manhole in the children's park. 
Okay, cool. It's actually heading that way. Sweet. This worked out. What the hell? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, 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 hey. The fuck's going on? See what I mean? You're hopeless. I'm taking your money here. I have no use for you without it. Uh. Hey, you two are Yakuza, ain't you? What are you doing out here in front of everybody? What's your deal? Butt out. This ain't your place. I don't know what happened, but you've gone far enough. I hate seeing a defenseless man get smacked around. Stay out of it, please. This really has nothing to do with you. I appreciate your concern, but I deserve this. Please just let me be. Fuck that, man. I'm sorry, Mr. Katagiri. I'll get the money. So please, boss. Oh, this ain't fun anymore. Listen, Yuri. You still owe 500000 of your tribute. Better pay up, you hear me? Mr. Eerie, is it? What's all... No, oh, damn it. Mr. Eerie, so what's that all about? Who might you be? Me? I used to be a Yakuza myself. Oh. I see. And a well-known... And a well-known one at that, I'd wager. So what was that punk beating you up for? It's an embarrassing story. Mr. Kenigiri and I both belong to a family that operates out of an office in Tekaichi Alley. I asked him to give me more time... More time to come up with my unpaid tribute to the family, but I guess that rubbed him the wrong way. Katagiri. So that kid is Yakuza too. Clearly you got more years than that kid, not to mention loads more class. How'd he get to be a boss? I'm indeed older, and I've been in the family longer, but Mr. Katagiri is their golden boy. That scrawny guy? Really? Mr. Katagiri has brought in a great deal of money to the family. Man... The Yakuza are all about money now. We're in an age where money-grubbing gangsters are valued over brainless thugs. <laughs> Unfortunately, Yakuza like me who can't pull in that kind of money seem to be behind the times. Not to mention a burden to the family. That can't be right. Just rough that green horn up a little. He'll change his tune. Yep. I can't do that. The family has grown thanks to him. Besides, Mr. Katagiri is the boss. Regardless of how he got there... Uh, I could never raise my hand against him. I see how it is. Sorry, I stuck my nose where it doesn't belong. Yep. I really do appreciate your concern. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some tribute money to drum up. Nothing but money, money, money. This is one cold world we're living in. But Erie fell at city in an office in Tenkaichi Alley. Hmm. Metal garbage? What you got, Pops? My home's right, right below here, but I can't get back down because some fool closed the manhole. The only way to open it is by using a special tool or probably an open brute force. Had me a tool, but I forgot it down there. Such a man must use rooftop and underground routes to travel without being seen by police. Um, okay. So let's slip in. Did I seriously unable to do this before I met this guy? If so, Tenkaichi? Isn't that like right? There's theater, soup on. Taihei. Where's Tenkaichi at? There. Hold on. Let's see if I can help out this guy real quick. I can't help it. That guy wants to fight. No! I'm fine, it's cop. No, 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 no! You leave me alone, officer. Oi. God damn. I mean, I guess at least the cops don't want to fight you, necessarily. You know, just want to catch you and all that.
god, that guy's like dead. What's wrong? Come on, bitch! Didn't mean to do that, my bad. Just that look of. Oh my god. Like they've been awoken. Yep. One too many. Is that a pink box I saw there for a sec, or? Well, they just came out of the fucking door. It's shrinking my eyes out because it looks like we've only had that one last revelation. No. Uh huh. Hey. Hey, I'm Nakuza, you know. Mess with me and it won't be pretty. You think we could run a gang in Kamarasha if we were scared of some Yakuza? I hand over your money. <laughs> Shit! Huh? And that kind of kid who was beating up his underling over by the park? Tch. figure. I'll pay you, just please have mercy! Just hand over your wallet, asshole. Not that I like the kid, but those punks are getting carried away. I ought to step in. Wouldn't want Yuri to lose face, too, after all. Don't you think you've done far enough? Or gone far enough? What? You need something? It's you. Don't think you can get away with anything just because you're young. In my day, it was the Yakuza that set the pecking order around here. What the fuck, dude? Is that some kind of joke? For civilians, then bosses, then soldiers. You punks are at the bottom of the heap. Those are the rules in this town. Huh? Did you seriously just say punks? Shit. Look, spare us a lecture, old man. We'd rather kick your ass anyway. Alright. I really want to get that bounce going, but I'm just... That was a real difficulty actually getting it. Mm -hmm. Oh, fuck you. Oh, fuck y'all. Hold on. No, that was good mm, shit. Put down the sign, asshole. You motherfucker. Close. Sexy shit. Hmm. Holy shit, who are you? If you want to get stronger enough to beat a good long stay in the joint, but you probably wind up being somebody's bitch. The joint? Forget it. Just get lost. Son of a bitch! The Yakuza have done in by punks like that? Ain't you ashamed? No, seriously? In these times, Yakuza fight with their heads, you know. Time's got nothing to do with it. Yakuza or Yakuza. When people start disrespecting you, it's over. You shut up. This family runs on my money. The money I raise. I'm not like all those mindless brawlers who do nothing but fight. Who are you talking about? Those punks just now, you and Eerie. Street fights won't keep the family alive. You're a fucking idiot, you know that? Huh? A weak Yakuza ain't nothing but garbage. Garbage? Power is everything in the Yakuza life. Being strong, well, it's a given. That strength brings in money, puts a lid on trouble. A weak Yakuza amounts to even less on those hoods. There just ain't no point to them. Yeah. <laughs> Eerie now. He's a poster child for the business. Him and guys like him. Throwing money around is well and good, but if you want to make it big in this world, you gotta pay respect to the powerful ones. You must have realized that, right? Oh. I couldn't get any stronger, so I figured I could feel more powerful by getting the strong guys to do what I say. But you've made me remember the way I felt when I first met Eerie. Eerie, he was strong. He was 